Hello everyone, today's lesson is Investigation 4, Collecting, Organizing, Displaying, and Interpreting Data. So here we have a problem, so Patricia wondered which of three activities, sports, dance, or walking, was most popular with her classmates. She gathered data by asking each classmate to select his or her favorite, and then she showed this data with a bar graph. Okay, so this is an example of a bar graph, we've seen these before. On this one, Roger wondered how frequently the residents on his street visit the city park. So he went to every third house on the street and asked, asked, how many times do you go to the park? He displayed his data he collected on a line plot. And this is how a line plot is, is created. For each response, he put an X above the number of times they went to the park. Okay, so this would be like seven times, two people go seven times a week to the park. Now, you notice there are two different types of data here. We had times a week, which are numbers, and we had different activities that are written in words. Quantitative data comes in numbers, and that's just what we call as quantitative. The way I like to remember it is quantitative has N in it, and so does the word numbers. Okay. Qualitative data comes in categories or labels. Qualitative has an L, and so does the word label. So those are our words. Okay. So we're going to decide if each of these scenarios, if it's qualitative or quantitative. Okay. So here, Jag Jagdish, sorry if I say that name wrong, collects 50 bags of clothing for a clothing drive and counts the number of items in each bag. So we have 50 bags, and he's counting the number of items. So remember, our options are quantitative and qualitative. So since it's number, the answer is going to be quantitative because it has an N in it. So this next one, for one hour, Carlos notes the color of each car that drives past his, his house. Since we're doing colors, that means that is a label or it's qualitative. Okay, because label L. Sharon rides a school bus home for after school. For two weeks, she measures the time the bus trip takes. Well, time is a number, so that's going to be quantitative. Okay, remember quantitative N for number. Bridget asks each student in her class, what is your favorite holiday? New Year's, Thanksgiving, or Independence Day? Holidays are words, or we could say labels, so that's an L, so that's going to be qualitative data. And I might be spelling these words wrong. I'm doing the best I can. All right. Marcello, or Marcello, asks each player on his Little League team, which major league baseball team is your favorite? Which team do you like the least? Since these are team names, again, this is going to be qualitative. data. Okay. When we're dealing with quantitative data, it often helps to show the numbers in that line plot we saw earlier. Okay. So this data shows how many hours of TV were watched each week. To create a line plot, first thing I do is make my straight line. Okay. And then I have to divide that line into sections. So I have numbers from 0 to 15. So I need to start at 0 and count up to 15. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and quickly write those numbers in. To make a line plot, I'm going to use a mark 
to show each of these numbers. So I only have one zero, so I'm going to put an X above the zero and cross it off so I know I'm done. There's one two for number one with two X's. You can also just do dots. It kind of depends on what you like. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You do want to try to make those X's the same size because we're trying to see the difference between each of these numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two fives, one, two. Two sixes, one, two. One, two, three, four sevens. One, two, three, four. Three eights, one, two, three. Now notice there aren't any nines, so I'm going to skip over nine. There's one ten, no elevens, one twelve and 115. Okay. And that's how we make a line plot. We can also show this data on a bar graph. So this is a qualitative question. It's asking what kind of show you like to watch on TV. So there's sports, news, animation, sitcoms, and movies. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make a bar graph. And there's two ways to do this. Um, I can do it horizontal or vertical. So I'm going to do it horizontal first. Okay. All right. So on this left side here is where I'm going to put the number. I'm going to go ahead and just going to divide this up by fives. So the bottom line is zero. And we have five, 10, 15. I don't have to be exact with the bar graph. I'm going to get as close as I can. And then on the bottom, I'm going to put my categories. Oops, wrong button. So that's sports. I'm just going to put the first letter. News, animation, sitcoms, and movies. Okay. So sports have 11. So I'm going to draw a bar up to where 11 should be which should be just after 10, kind of like that. Okay, news is three, that one goes about there. Animation is five, is six. Sitcoms is nine, so it could almost go up to 10, but not quite. And movies is also three. Okay. So I'm getting close, I'm not getting an exact with the bar graph, and that's okay. I can also do this bar graph uh, vertically, and that's basically just switching the order. So I have 0, 5, 10, and 15 down at the bottom. And then I have my categories at the top. So sports, news, animation, sitcoms, and movies. And then I draw the bars horizontally. So sports goes all the way out to 11. News goes to 3. Animation to 6 sitcoms to three, and movies, oh, sorry, sitcoms to nine. So it's always good to double check your answers. And then movies to three. All right. If I wanted to, I could have put in all the, the tick marks, zero, one, two, three, four, five, okay, and lined it up exact. Uh, it just depends on what you're being asked to do. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.